Good morning. Today on the homestead, it's all about seeds. All right, all right, all right. All righty. So, with having a garden, I end up with having, of course, product. So today what I'm going to do is I'm just making a tray out of my styrofoam egg container and that's going to help store my seeds. And what I'm going to do with these seeds is put them in little storage containers and set them inside the egg crate and uh, It'll be something along the lines of this. And this just fits right into the door of my freezer. And I have everything marked and labeled. And then uh, this way it keeps them nice and protected. They don't get wallered around in the freezer. And, uh, well, let's just get started. First, I'm going to take my little containers, and I got these cute little containers at my local Dollar Tree. And they, they're just like um, about an inch and a half tall and about an inch around. And they kind of remind me of the old 35 millimeter film canisters. And the lid just sits on and snaps tight. So I'm going to take those, take my handy dandy tape. I don't think any homestead or any kitchen can be uh, organized properly, well, without having tape available. And then I'll just put that on there. And I think the first seeds I'm going to do are going to be my large bell pepper seeds. Um, I don't have any more information than that. I bought them at the local nursery and all it said on the label was large bell pepper. So that's what I'm going to put on my label. And then I always put the, the date. So you end up with something like this. And then carefully put my seeds in. And there you have it. Now I have my seeds ready for next year. Put those in my tray. Hmm. I do believe I got some different sizes of storage containers. Who knew? That's okay. It'll still fit. It'll still work. Okay. The next one is going to be for my patty pan squash. They're really yummy. They're mild, and uh, I love just dipping them in flour and a little bit of egg and uh, just pan frying them like you would zucchini or anything like that. And this is another little tip I'd like to share with you. I take just a baking sheet and I section it out according to however many seeds that I have. Um, I take a piece of parchment and I label directly on the parchment what the seeds are. And then I can get, depending on what size the seeds are, like tomato seeds, things that are smaller like that, I could fit more on the tray. But the larger seeds, like the pumpkin seeds, 
I'll only get like maybe nine different sections on the tray. But um, it's just a way to keep the spillage to a minimum. I set, set the whole tray up on my fireplace mantle and that way they're out of the way. There's no risk of them getting bumped or anything like that. So I'll just take these patty pan seeds, stick them in my container, snap the lid on, and there's another one ready for next year. I think the next one I'm going to do are my butternut squash seeds. And sometimes they do stick. Once they get good and dry, then I package them up. That's how I ended up with so many to do all at one time. Just put those all in there. Okay, these are sugar baby pumpkin seeds. And they aren't quite dry yet, so I'm just going to leave those for another couple of days just to make sure they get good and dry. Now, show you a little bit of what I do. I have radish seeds that need to dry. So I'm just going to label another section and I just labeled it radishes. I think I should have made it a little bit bigger square. That's okay if they need to go down a little further. I'll just cover up the line. Just kind of spread them out as much as you can on, on a single layer. And I'll set those back up to dry. Now, this next batch of seeds are, I'm going to take them out of this container here it just uh, didn't really store them very well but these are blue Hubbard squash seeds and uh, this particular seed is an heirloom I got the seeds from a friend of mine and um, they can grow to be rather large so if you uh, check those out online you will be amazed. At some point, they can get as large as even 40 pounds. Um, I grew these last year, my largest one. I just couldn't wait any longer. I got impatient, and it weighed out at 18 pounds. So I'm going to spread these back out, let them get dry again, and put them in the containers that I think might protect them just a little bit better. I thought I was doing a good thing with the paper bag, but I'm not real sure now. So I'm just going to take those out and redo them. Well, I think they might be okay. And because they are, there's quite a few of them. I'm just going to give them a bigger space. Just like that. Then we'll spread them out. The friend who gave me these seeds last year didn't give me these particular seeds. These came from the squash that I harvested. But uh, he started last year with my granddaughter, with Lexi. I started taking her to the farmer's market with me last year. And uh, the teacher and him just couldn't resist. So he gave her just a few seeds, I forget. It was seven or eight seeds, not very many. And uh, he said, take them home and plant them. 
Well, she doesn't really have any place to plant anything that takes a lot of room at her house. I said, okay, we'll just make you a uh, place for them. This over at my house. So, uh, so we did. We made what we called the pumpkin patch. I had a couple of pumpkins growing in there and that kind of thing. And uh, there we go. We'll just leave these two dry out again and then I'll put them in little containers that are airtight. So he uh, he told her I'm not going to tell you what they are but take them home and let them grow and make sure you give them a lot of room to grow. And I'm thinking all oh my lands what am I going to end up with growing in my yard? Well, I recognize the seeds as some kind of squash seed, pumpkin seed, something along that line. So I wasn't too worried about being able to use whatever it was, but I wasn't convinced that I was going to have room. So um, it's like, okay, you know, worst case scenario, they don't all germinate. So that'll be okay. Well, not only did they all germinate, but they all grew quite prolifically. And I ended up at about I ended up with about 20 feet square of uh, these squash plants. So uh, eventually, once they started growing, he did tell me what they were, and he said, but don't tell Lexi, let it be a surprise. I'm like, okay. So it kept growing, and it kept growing, and it kept growing, and Lexi's like, Nani, how big is this thing going to get? I said, I don't know, but Mr. Russ says to let it keep growing. She's like, oh, okay. So we let it grow, we let it grow, and... Like I said, I just got tired of waiting and I harvested it at 18 pounds. But uh, the Blue Hubbard squash makes a great um, pie. You just roast it off and cook, um, just mix it up like you would a pumpkin pie or a um, sweet potato pie, anything like that. So, uh, I have some of that puree in the freezer, and uh, I'll make up a couple of pies here for the holidays. So, this year, he gave her some corn seeds, and he did tell me what the kind they were, but he made me promise not to tell her. So, she knows they're corn seeds, but she has no idea what kind of corn. So, I can't wait, and they need to dry on the stalk, get real good and dry, and uh, I can't wait till I can tell her what we're going to do with them. These are just some extra herb seeds that I had. And I'll just put those in a separate container. So I know that they're herbs. And there's no real specific reason why I'm doing that other than I just want to. So this is really all there is to saving your seeds. And uh, the primary trick is if you want to start your own seed collection, start your own line of vegetables or herbs um, something that you can propagate and um, eventually maybe even uh, work out to becoming organic just start saving your seeds and let them dry once they dry you want to make sure they're in airtight containers
And that's really all there is to it. So thank you for taking time to watch this little short video on how to save your seeds. And you can do this for vegetables. You can do it um, for herbs. You can do it for flowers. Any flowers um, that you really like. You planted a really nice variety of marigold this year. Um, Save two or three of the heads of the marigolds, let them dry, and you'll have your seeds. And you can package them up the same way and save them the same way. Um, anything that comes from a seed, you can do this with. So uh, venture out, experiment, and you too can start saving seeds. And uh, eventually, as you save your own seeds... You won't have to buy them anymore. So for just a few minutes of my time, I saved all of this money because I don't have to buy the seeds anymore. So uh, this is Beth from Hitch Chick Urban Homestead, and I'll see you later.